Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. Hope you're having a great week so far. Got an NHL pick video for you here. Looks like we have 10 matchups on this slate. Before I get started, go ahead and like and subscribe. Go ahead and support the channel. And go ahead and join the Patreon as well. Um, already over 40 plus members in there. It's awesome. And uh, only $5.50. Don't want to miss out. And um, yeah, we're going to get right into these videos or these picks. First matchup, we had the Boston Bruins versus the Washington Capitals. Boston 20, 10, and 6. Washington 25, 10, and 4. Washington opening up as favorites at minus 115 with the over under at 5.5. Last 10 games for Boston 6 and 4 in their last 10. Washington 6 and 4 in their last 10 as well. Boston just 2 and 10 on the road against Washington. 4 and 16 straight up against Washington. So a little success against them. Washington 15 and 5 in their last 20. 7 and 1 in their last 8 games at home. You know, 10 and 2 at home against Boston here. Um, love Washington in this matchup. A lot of success against Boston here, and I think it's going to continue. We're going to take Washington, and I'm going to take the under five and a half. Next matchup, we have the Edmonton Oilers versus the Ottawa Senators. Edmonton 23 14 and 2. Ottawa 13 22 and 4. Edmonton opening up as favorites at minus 190. Ottawa plus 165 with the over under at six and a half. Last 10 games for Edmonton. 5-5 five and five in their last 10. Ottawa, 4-6 and six in their last 10. These teams are on a doubleheader, you know, as I'm recording. Currently tied 2-2, two two, so we'll see what happens in this game. But either way, rolling with Edmonton here. Um, just taking the better team, what much better team in Edmonton. And i um, going to take the under 6.5. Seems, like, seems pretty high to me. Next matchup, we have the Florida Panthers versus the Carolina Hurricanes. Florida 26 10 and 4. Carolina 26 9 and 3. Carolina opening up as favorites at minus 145. Florida plus 125 with the over under at 6. Last 10 games for Florida 6 and 4 in their last 10. Carolina. Six and four in their last ten as well. Um, you know, Carolina winning the last matchup five to two pretty handily there. Um, you know, Carolina seven and two at home against Florida, thirteen and five in their last eighteen. Florida two and nine against against Carolina, two and seven on the road against them. Um, go, you know, I won with Florida in the last matchup, but now that they lost again. I like Florida to bounce back here. I love the value at plus 125. I expect them to get it done this game. And I'm going to take them on the puck line as well at plus one and a half. And we're going to take the over six. Next matchup, we have the New Jersey Devils versus the Buffalo Sabres. New Jersey 13, 18, and six. Buffalo 9, 23, and six. New Jersey opening up as favorites at minus 130. Buffalo plus 110 with the over under at five and a half. Last 10 games for New Jersey, three and seven in their last 10. Buffalo, three and seven in their last 10 as well. You know, Buffalo winning the last matchup five to three as underdogs. Kind of a game I stayed away from. Didn't really want any part of it, but um, love the value here with Buffalo. You know, two really bad teams here. You know, just just that alone. Anytime there's two bad teams like this, I'm going to roll with the underdog. We're going to go Buffalo plus 110. And we're going to take the over five and a half. Next matchup, we have the Philadelphia Flyers versus the New York Islanders. Philly 18, 15, and 5. New York 25, 10, and 4. The New York opening up as favorites at minus 160. Philly plus 140 with the over under at five and a half. Last 10 games for Philly, 3 and 7 in their last 10. The Islanders 6 and 4 in their last 10. Philly, 
you know, six and twelve in their last eighteen, two and six on the road against the Islanders here. Um, Islanders fifteen and four in their last nineteen, ten and one at home, six and two at home against Philly here. Gonna roll with the Islanders in this matchup. Just you know, better home team, and um, yeah, we're gonna take that minus one sixty, and then we're gonna take the over five and a half. Next matchup, we have the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the New York Rangers. Pittsburgh 24 13 and 2. The New York 18 15 and 5. New York opening up as favorites at minus 120. Pitt plus 100 with the over under at 6. Last 10 games for Pitt. You know, 6 and 4 in their last 10. New York 6 and 4 in their last 10 as well. Um, you know, the Rangers dominated that first matchup, um, eight to four, you know, I was all over pitting that matchup and they just didn't show up. Um, I love I love pit to bounce back here. I don't see that. You know, I love them on the puck line as well. Eight to four, you know, Rangers had a hot day, but I don't think that continues here. Going to roll with pit plus a hundred and we're going to on, and the puck line at plus one and a half. And we're going to take the over six as well. Next matchup, we have the Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Columbus Blue Jackets. Tampa Bay 26, 11, and 2. Columbus 15, 18, and 8. Tampa opening up as favorites at minus 210. Columbus plus 175 with the over under at, at, at five and a half. Last 10 games for Tampa, five and five in their last 10. Columbus three and seven in their last 10. This one's simple for me. Tampa, you know, getting embarrassed against Columbus, four to two, huge underdog, you know, huge favorites and taking the L. Love Tampa to bounce back here. I think they get their act together and get the win here. Taking Tampa at minus 210, and we're going to take the over five and a half. Next matchup, we have the Winnipeg Jets versus the Montreal Canadiens. Winnipeg 23, 13 and three. Montreal 17, nine and nine. Montreal opening up as favorites at minus 140 with the over under at five and a half. Winnipeg plus 120. Last 10 games for Winnipeg, six and I'm sorry, five and five in their last 10. Montreal five and five in their last 10 as well. You know, Montreal last two meetings gets Winnipeg, splitting a win and a loss there, three to four, and then four to two. Head to head. You know, five five and zero, oh, five two and three for Montreal. Um, rolling with Winnipeg here, plus one twenty. I mean, gonna take the better team, given the given the you know giving them underdogs. Love Winnipeg play here at plus one twenty. We're gonna take the under five and a half. Next matchup, we have the Nashville Predators versus the Detroit Red Wings. Nashville twenty one eighteen and one. Detroit thirteen twenty two and six. Nashville opening up as favorites at minus 155. Detroit plus 135 with the over under at five and a half. Last 10 games for Nashville, eight and two in their last 10. Detroit three and seven in their last 10. Nashville winning the last matchup three to two here. Um, you know, Detroit put up, you know, Detroit tested them that match, but you know, Nashville came through. Nashville six and one on the road, four and one in their last five against Detroit. Detroit one and four in their last five. Rolling with Nashville again here. Just don't trust Detroit. Taking the better team in Nashville, and we're gonna take the under five and a half. Last matchup on this slate, we have the Dallas Stars versus the Chicago Blackhawks. Dallas 13, 14, and 10. Chicago 18, 17, and 5. Sh- Dallas opening up as favorites at minus 115. Chicago minus 105. With the over under at five and a half. Last ten games for Dallas, three and seven in their last ten. Chicago four and six in their last ten. Chicago, you know, winning the first match at four to two here as underdogs. Um, Dallas one and four in their last five games against Chicago here. Um, you know, I love the Chicago play again here. I loved them last matchup. I love them again here. I'm gonna take Chicago at minus one oh five. And you can get them at plus one and a half too, which I like that even more, honestly. And we're going to take the under 
five and a half. That's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, go ahead and join the Patreon. Link is in the description. And uh, good luck with your picks and parlays on Thursday. And I will see you guys Friday. Have a good one.